the brewery ride that bear in Imperial Hoppy Brown Ale. When you meet a bear in the woods, don't run or play dead, ride it with a sleek malt physique imparting warm, nutty, and toasty layers complemented by California yeast and a particularly excellent sense of smell for dry hopping. From dry hopping, this Imperial Brown Ale is an oh-so-hoppy romp to the California Republic. Don't let this beer hibernate. Store and serve fresh at 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Thanks for watching the Tapping Out Show. This is Matt and Jeremy, and we're gonna do Ride That Bear from the brewery. I'm gonna say it has some kind of IBU just based on the fact that it has hops. We're gonna find out when we I imagine this up. some a little bit of bitterness from the hops, but you, you never know. Um, sometimes we've seen zero IBUs, and, and that doesn't seem to be true, at least in the real world, but we'll, we'll see. Well, I mean, it is an imperial brown ale, so there's probably a lot of malt in it, might, which might throw off the bitterness of it. Yeah, it could cut it off a little bit, but I don't think it would be at zero, just because anything that has a lot of hops in it, what you think would, but maybe maybe it's a, a, a good blend. Who knows? We're actually really big fans of, say, the red IPA, or the blend of an IPA and a red ale. This is a brown ale that's real hoppy. I'm kind of hoping for that same kind of taste. Yeah, where it kind of cuts it out. It cuts it out a little bit. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, if, if you're into craft beer, brewery is a big name. The brewery is somewhat local to us. We want to get a few other of their beers. This one was something that I actually saw and went, you know what? This is kind of up our alley. And this is actually a 2016 from their uh, preservation series. Let's crack it open. By the way, your bulldog's having a nightmare. <laughs> Boof. So yeah, we'll be doing uh, some more beers from the brewery, and uh, you know we're looking forward to uh, trying some more. I know uh, Jeremy's been over to their uh, at least once to their location, tried a couple of their beers off their taps. They actually have a a really good Russian Imperial Stout that we'll probably do sooner or later once it becomes into season. Uh, similar to the Dimitri, similar to uh, Dark Lord from Three Floyds. Uh, they make quality product. The stuff they make is very strong, usually. So, let's see. I can smell the hop. I don't know the hoppiness, and uh, definitely it's got like a, a brown, brown ale kind of... I mean, I can kind of smell the malt on it, but... The hops really do take center stage. It kind of cuts it, though. Yeah. Like, right when you kind of smell it, and, you know, almost like an IPA where you smell all the hops, it kind of gets cut out a little bit. I mean, the color itself, it's exactly what it says. Dark ale, amber ale, however you want to put that. Uh, it's not very translucent. It's almost, I wouldn't call it unfiltered. I it's almost say called like a brownish, reddish kind of look to it. And uh, it, it, I wouldn't say it's unfiltered because I don't see sediment in there. It doesn't mean it's not in there because it's so dark, but I don't really see sediment in there. It's just a real little bit of head. You know, looks like a good quality beer. It smells good. It kind of gives off a little bit of a Belgium look to it. Not saying it smells like that. I, I mean, talking about the color, like spectrum, it almost looks like an Allagash red or an Allagash blue. Yeah, yeah, it does kind of look like an Allagash red. Like I was saying, that brownish red, almost like that. The wine, you know, kind of, kind of mixture. It smells too. good though. Yeah, it definitely smells good. I'm looking forward to trying Let's this. Try it. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, there has to be an IBU to that. That's pretty hoppy. I don't think it's really hoppy at all. Um, it does have a little bit of hops in it, but you know, I would say it's, it has, uh, have some bitterness to it, but I would give it a really low IBU rating, maybe 20 or 30 or something like that. Um, but it, it's a really good beer. It definitely has the, um, the IPA beginning and it definitely cuts it out with, uh, with, with the brown ale. You know, that malt red taste or the malt brown taste at the end kind of smooths it out. 
makes it a little bit more, I wouldn't say palatable because that's not a good word for yeah. it, but it makes it real smooth to drink at the end where you're kind of expecting the rest of the hop to you know, follow through. It doesn't, and it makes it just a brown ale. <clears throat> not just a brown ale, but you can tell where they were going with it. I mean, it's definitely got a starter punch to it where you taste the hops almost in, a, in an S, I wouldn't say an essence of a West Coast IPA, but it has like that that real hop kick in the beginning and then it finishes to me out. it seems like you taste the hops a little bit and right when it really would kick in it cuts to the brown yeah no that's, i agree that's kind of kind of how it works for me no I, I can see that too like i said the brewery makes a, it's a good quality beer though I well they make great beer quality beer but that's but that's the thing is they make so many different types of beer and they make so many different types yeah, of beer. Yeah, I was on their website, even this preservation series. I was trying to find this beer out there. I think there was like eight or nine just in that one series. I didn't even know that they, they were doing that many different things. But uh, I enjoy it. Uh, I'd recommend it. Um, but this is more my thing. What, what would you rate this at? I'd give it probably between a four, four two, four two five kind of deal. So four out of five. I would say four out of five, four point two. You know, is fair. Yeah. I would I would probably say four point two is 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 a fair rating. I mean, if it's somebody had this on tap, I'd I'd order it. Yeah, it would be really good on a tap. I think it would be hard to find, but unless probably you're at their brewery. But it's a, it's a it's a it's a good beer, and like I said, especially for someone like you that doesn't want too much hops in their beer i think that's a good it's a good mix because right before it would really get hoppy for right. you it turns into a brown yeah it's almost like two beers in one you know but but uh it's done well because sometimes people try to do that and it doesn't work out so well but yeah. this, is, this is a good mix no i agree um that's our recommendations if you think differently or if you want to hear more about this or anything else from the brewery email us it's uh, info at tapping out show.com um, social media, all one word, tapping out show. Uh, until next time, we're going to finish these up. Cheers. Cheers.